Happy Sunday on this beautiful brand new Sunday. And you know what? Without further ado, let's dive in. Happy Sunday and uh, welcome to this smashed, subscribed and very new Tesla Sundays episode. I am really thankful that you are tuning in every single Sunday and those are the topics for today's episode. We will talk about the Tesla stock. We will talk about the stock chart if we see any trends. Moreover, we will dive into the S and X remodeling. And then finally, we talk about the Q4 earnings. So let's roll. So if we are looking into the performance of Tesla stock since last Tesla Sunday's episode, we see that there's basically no big change. We started the week with 847 and ended the week 2.5% lower at $826. I mean, nothing big happened also. So that's why, you know, we had a couple of analysts saying the stock is already perfectly valued or all the future events are already inside the Tesla price. And then there was people like Webush, which is like a really, really bullish analyst according to Tesla. He said he raised the bar a little bit for the price. So, you know, you had this back and forth between analysts, but other than that, you know, there was no big news for Tesla stock this week. And I think that currently we having a pull and a push by bears and bulls. And that's why you see, you know, not big or huge movement throughout those days. So the next big things or indicators would be definitely some information about the cyber truck. Let's see what Biden will uh, tell us about, you know, a potential uh, EV package that will support the sales of EVs, you know, guidance for 2021 and uh, many more things to come like the Q4 earnings that we will talk about later in this vlog. So there is definitely some catalysts already in the next couple of weeks to come. So just chill out and uh, be happy that we gained so much because over the last three months we gained, you know, more than 100% or almost 100%. So, you know, Let's uh, let's let's not to ask too much. All right, let's dive into the chart. So let's look into the stock chart of Tesla. And as you can see, there was a couple of things that happened over the last couple of days. So this is the last three months. We went into this absolutely crazy channel here, exited it around the 9th of December went then a kind of sideways position within the upper side of the Bollinger Bands, then exited it, went to a really all time high at 880, and then, you know, unfortunately didn't went back to this area here and went, you know, kind of sideways, down, down sideways. And uh, yeah, th this is usually what happens. You know, here you can see the same, the Bollinger Bands. It exited and then goes back into it. I think uh, over the last couple of years and months, this happened here as well, here back in August as well. So that that's, that's quite normal when the stock just is overbought, right? So here you can see also the RSI was at 84. Uh, here uh, it was like uh, 71. So you can see here when it's uh, reaching somewhere around uh, 80, 90 levels, then there's always a little bit of profit taking here by traders and investors. Other than that, you know, we have a support here 
with the full 50 moving average at 612 though i don't think there's a big big chance that the stock goes down below 600 before the q4 earnings depending on the q4 earnings that we will talk about later in this vlog we shall see uh, for their demand for the stock and I'm in my personal opinion and then the other uh, support line here is at 368 which is the 200 moving line uh, which is obviously here as well as the 50 moving average is moving higher so yeah so what is now in terms of resistance you can see it's it's quite a significant jump so if you say okay where could the stock goes down to and where it could bounce off. So here are, let's say, two lines that I would emphasize, okay? So one is here at 840, is it right? 14, yes. So here it shouldn't go below that because then it would break out this small resistance here and then there's a big gap to fall down, maybe even here to the middle of the Bollinger Bands, which would be at uh, 740. The second resistance here is around um you know what is it here 682 but i don't think again that we fall lower than the big resistance here with the 50 moving average because this always hold up here as you can see here for example here it went a little bit lower than back up but uh, the tesla stock always traded just maybe very minor periods of time below that right so and here it's pretty much according to the resistance here so yeah i think tesla stock is now so much in the news so much in demand that we shall see you know a further gain with the q4 and the catalysts that are coming up so i'm not worried i'm actually excited because as you know i'm holding a couple of products that are leveraged uh, which those are this is you know something that i'm sharing in my discord you can access the discord by becoming a member of this channel or you can actually you know uh, get into the x10 masterclass both links are into the description or just the join button below the video remodeling of the model s and x now the model s and x is something yeah quite let's say difficult product for tesla because for once yes the margins nominal not percentage wise are actually quite nice at those cars but the problem is that they are built in the us only and sent all over the world right so there's additional cost there's a, you know complicated manufacturing process in the us and on the other side when the model y and the model 3 came out many people said you know why go for this older model s or x when i can have a brand new you know with the square touch screen with much better technology inside to drive a tesla so this is the problem that you know the mass produced cars are cannibalizing a little bit of the main you know first products of tesla now tesla was rumored to create a new plate model which obviously they would uh, you know increase the sale because everyone wants to have a very very fast car and this would be definitely the fastest electric production car that was ever on the streets worldwide and secondly you know they didn't make too much new remodeling and now it's the case or rumors are around and the recent closure of the s and x production line seems to all fit together that we are looking into the new model s and x and i got you know if you just put the model s remodel or tesla model s remodel then you will see that there are some very interesting i mean this is not a nice uh, new design this is the old design right this basically went into that right this is how the model s looks now and uh, i have seen a really nice rendering like that for example this would be really nice i think 
that though will be too complicated you know maybe too sporty something like this would also look very very nice <laughs> i mean look at that that looks like an aston martin and you know the s is obviously something very luxurious right so I could something see for the Model S like that. Here you can see a little bit of a difference uh, to the current model, you know, the lights were here a little bit adjusted. And uh, let's have a look what the Model X S remodel could look like. So let's have a look because, you know, obviously Tesla is such a renowned brand and such a favorite thing to talk about you are seeing a lot of kind let's say um renders out there that you can find on the internet and for the model x unfortunately there's not much remodeling renders outside here in google as you can see so i want to make sure that we also cover the interior okay so i can definitely imagine that we will have somehow of a new or brand new interior where you have definitely the screen in a little bit of a model three style so you know something a little bit like that but not so spartanic right i mean this is very minimalistic because the mass car should go for masses easy to produce but the model s is always a luxury or more a luxury good so it should be you know a little bit more nicely designed how you find it for example in german cars so i'm super looking much forward to that uh, we most probably will know by the q4 earnings report and presentation and conference call more about that and maybe also a surprise when tesla moves a lot of cash into bitcoin this would be also something that i would really really look forward in the q4 but let's talk about this later in the vlog so to see what we are looking forward to at the q4 2020 update i would like to go with you into the q3 2020 update to see what we have uh, done here and according to this presentation style what i'm looking forward to okay so first of all i'm looking at the cash pile because the ridiculously 14.5 billion dollars cash pile will increase at least by four or five billion dollars that they raised over the increased stock price that they also closed already plus you know the positive cash flow that they are generating so this will maybe will be almost close to 20 billion dollars in cash and then you know what even if even what be more interesting for me when they would say i will or they will you know i i mean Elon musk i will put 100 million into bitcoin or maybe 500 million into bitcoin you know so this would be interesting to see when tesla will put their cash into bitcoin i mean this would uh, create much more value for bitcoin it will create you know so much of an pr and marketing for tesla again so i think it's a win-win situation between bitcoin and tesla and there was some uh, discussions already that uh, Elon Musk asked and another guy from Micron Technologies, I think, who did this already with his company. And uh, they talked on Twitter. So check out the tweet where he talked about that. Now, this is for the cash flow. Obviously, then we shall see if we have another record profitability in the Q4. As more as we produce and sell, as more the cost should go down partially on the numbers that we are selling so this is something i'm looking forward then in terms of year over year numbers i would love to see you know 50 percent growth in automotive revenue uh, same goes for the total revenue you know tesla is such a fantastic growth company here that uh, this is something that i want to see more in the overall year of 2020 now yeah so we talked about profitability which uh, i would love to see obviously at an all-time high which you know would also really nicely resonate with the all-time high of the stock then also here on the operational summary i would love to see 
uh, higher numbers in solar development and storage deployment. I think this is uh, very important because this is the next big project and product of Tesla. As you might remember, Elon Musk said it in the conference call that you know you can see Tesla as a startup with or or or, or a st uh, many startups within a startup. So uh, those numbers will be very very in focus for myself to see how much solar and storage they can and could deploy over time. Then obviously we shall see updates on the Berlin Brandenburg and the Texas factory. This is important for me as well because this is one of the biggest growth factors for the situation in the US and for the growth. And as you can see, Texas will produce Model Y, Model Y and the Cybertruck. And uh, here in the United States, they will further uh, build at some point the Tesla Semi and the Roadster as well. Cybertruck, Semi and Roadster, I would love to have an update on that because this is something very, very interesting for, for their gaining new clients. Other than that, you know, obviously autopilot, when we shall see the robot taxi, that would be interesting for the, for the solar business. We talked about already what, what I'm looking forward to. And that's pretty much it. Then, uh, you know, this presentation goes into the battery day highlights that we went uh, many, many times before. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And one more thing. I would like to emphasize that I have a new online class, guys, okay? So x10masterclass.com, you will get 100 unpublished videos in the usual vlogging style, how to look into stocks, how to find the next 10x stock like we did with Tesla stock. We are diving there also into the Discord chat and that forever because you will get lifetime access to the Discord chat if you're going for the masterclass. And also finally, you will get a 107 point Excel file that you can use to determine how of a great stock you find and check how big of a conviction and if you put all the dots together and uh, if uh, this stock ticks a lot of boxes. So this is the most valuable product that I have ever created and I would love you to enroll into it maybe today.